plaintiff, Andy Florentine, has been friends with the defendant since fourth grade, and they've always been there for each other. However, Andy's suing because he loaned the defendant money, and instead of repaying, he ended up spending it on Andy's ex-girlfriend. Defendant Damian Majune insists he has never tried to get with Andy's ex because he can get his own women. Damian claims Andy started asking for repayment one month after giving him a loan, which Damian feels is unreasonable. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. State your name, sir. Andy Florentine. Sir? Damien Majun. All right, and you are suing your former friend for $3,000 for an unpaid loan? Yes, sir. Start with you. So I've known Damien all my life since fourth grade. He's been like a brother to me. I've been through everything with him and vice versa. Like what? So in seventh grade, his mom pa had passed away. Mm. I've been with, there with him through everything. And uh, I'll say beginning of COVID after high school, I've been going through a lot of stuff like that, and he's been there for me as well. Good. Mm, mm, mm. Sorry to hear that about your mom. And um, you all go to school together, you said? Yeah, I went to elementary through high school. Okay. What are you doing now? You're out of school, obviously. So. Yes. I have a, a car rental business and as oh, well a car rental? clothing line, yes. Good. Congratulations. Very impressive. Plaintiff Andy Florentine was friends with the defendant, but he claims he recently discovered the defendant was trying to get with his ex. Need some background on you, sir. Uh, first of all, Your Honor, um, I don't need my my friend's uh, ex to get a girl. I can get a girl on my own. I knew him since fourth. <laughs> get I that out the way right now. Grade. We've, been, we've been through thick and thin together. We both always there for each other, no matter what. When he said seventh grade, when my mom passed away, that was a very hard part of me for my life. But he, I don't feel like he still doesn't understand what I go through or what I've been through, because, you know, during that time, he was getting everything handed to him. I wasn't, I had to work for everything I had. Mm -hmm. So it was like, I had to work and work, work to do everything I had. Him, and just, so what? You saying that to say what? That's... You say starting in seventh grade, you had to work harder than him, mm -hmm. and he got things given to him. Mm -hmm. So what's, what point are you making there? Like the, the three dollars, I feel like, I didn't have enough. He wanted like a month or 30 days for me to pay the 3000 back. I don't think that was enough time to pay it back because that's only like 30 days. You can't have 30 days to pay back $3,000. And you I don't, made an agreement to do that? It was never an agreement. We never really actually agreed on saying I have to owe you back because we usually, whenever we give each other money, it's mm -hmm. never like I have to owe you or so me. So what 30 days are you referring to? That's what he was telling me. That's why I, I don't understand why he's... Before you got the money? Yeah, I don't understand why he's Before telling me. Before you got the money, he said, I'm going to need it back in 30 days? No, he did not, but he's claiming that he did. We okay. never, we never um, adjust on me giving it back to him. Okay, let me hear his that. side first, and then we'll get back. What do you say about the money? Uh, so, 3000 is not like $20, $50, or $100. Like, I have Tell me how business. the loan came about. He asked you for it, or what? Tell me the circumstance. So, uh, he had came to my house saying that uh, his car needed to be fixed so he could, like, get around. And so he asked for 3000 to fix the car. So I told him, okay, fine, just be sure to pay it back. But just never after, said that. after pay that. Pay it back when? After that, never said next that, month. Though. After the 30 days, it was March 1st when he came. So April 1st. $3,000, March 1st. Mm -hmm. So and you told him to pay it by April 1st. Yes. What type of work did he do? What made you think he would have 3000 in one month? Thank you, Honor. Oh, if he you, asked for it, gotta, huh? if he asked for it, then I told him, and he said, okay, or you should have asked for more time. We never, we never Once I said 30 days, he said, okay. We never discussed that. Okay. That was unreasonable for you to think that. Somebody who needs $3,000, and I'm sure before you give someone or loan someone $3,000, you know their economic circumstance. You know whether they work full time. You know whether they're about to hit the lottery or something. You know you got to project. How do I expect to get $3,000 from this person who is currently broke? How do I expect to get 3,000 from them in 30 days? 
What was your financial status? Were you working? Oh, uh, because during COVID, well, after COVID, it was really hard for me to get a job, so I was, like, in and out of So job. you were unemployed? Yeah, kind of. All right, so he had no reason to believe you could pay him back if you were not employed. And you just said, well, you know, he'll get it somehow. Uh, COVID was kind of like two years ago when people was getting unemployed. No, so. sir. No, sir. I don't know where you've been. We need to back him up if he talking about people used to get COVID. <laughs> just that we got vaccines and so many people have had it that it's not causing as much hospitalization. So I ain't no when we used to be with COVID. No, when we were dying from COVID. It's a little different now. That's the only difference. So, getting back. Because of COVID, you didn't expect what? You, that's why I'm missing something. You, because of COVID, what? COVID, you can't really blame that on COVID because there's other stuff you could do on your own to make money, not just depend on what? jobs and stuff. What? Business. People, he was in business for uh, what type of business? I didn't know, like, you could start a business or do you some start something. start a business and make 3000 in 30 days. That's not going to happen some type of money to bring back. I didn't get nothing back. Plaintiff Andy Florentine was friends with the defendant, but he claims he recently discovered the defendant was trying to get with his ex. You were unrealistic what? in giving your money away to someone who was unemployed and expecting an unemployed person to give you 3,000 30 days later. But that's not why I'm here though. Oh! There's more to Why it. are you suing him? There's more to it. I thought you were suing him over a loan, no, and he this... gave me the defense. But you tell me what you're suing about. Maybe I'm talking about this... a totally different lawsuit. Me and you talking about something different. Maybe. Let's see what you're talking about. What are you this is about the 3000 But huh? this is about the 3000 You're confusing but... me. <laughs> you're mixing me up. <laughs> I have to tell you the rest of the story as to why I'm suing Go ahead. OK, so after that, after I, I went to his house to ask for the 3000 he said, oh, I didn't have, I don't have all of it. I have some. So I believed him. So after that, after a couple of days after, I asked him, like, you might as well just give me some of it or the sum that you claim to have. Or if you do have all of it, just give it here. I'm not getting no response. So I let him slide on that. So I'm on Instagram one day. I go to his story. I'm seeing him, like, in rental cars and whole type of skylight apartment in Miami, all looking all nice and stuff. I don't say anything, because I know he's not going to answer. I'm just going to wait till he gets back to his house. Yeah, junkie green screens and everything else. You let these kids get on this internet, and you believe the junk that you see. Like, you be flying in private jets. <laughs> you can go to Atlanta, pay $500 to this private jet company. No way. They'll let you go in there and take a picture of yourself. <laughs> That's great. And then you put it on Instagram, say you fly in private. One of the big rap superstars of history was on a plane a few years ago, uh -huh. and he posted something saying that he was riding on a private plane. Well, the person next to him took a picture of him and showed where he was riding next, right next to them in coach. <laughs> That's great. This is a rap star. So all this, you going by what you see on the internet. That's probably a green screen. Go ahead, sir. So you saw him in Miami on the internet. What else you see on the internet? So, and then, so like I said how, like he's just ducking me and stuff. I see how he's posting a girl, but he's not posting the face. He's putting an emoji over the face. A girl? Yes, a girl. And? So, as I'm scrolling more, it was really, it was my ex's birthday that day, and she had the same outfit. He was with my ex spending the money he owed me. Oh. So that's why. How do you know? He was spinning I, I on for her. A fact. I know for a fact. I, you know, How? That's what I'm asking hey. you for your facts. You got to prove facts in here. Prove a fact and you win. <laughs> That's what happens in court. That's what you come to court to do. Prove your fact. And you say you have a fact. So if you just be so nice to give me that fact, I can make a decision. If you had no money in the first place, you wouldn't be That's theory. in Miami. Proven fact no means something that is empirical. You cannot challenge it because it's been proven already. What you just said is theory and speculation. Anything else? Because you're using common sense. This time. Didn't use it when you thought you could go <laughs> get 3000 back in 30 days from an unemployed person. But this time you're using common sense. However, proven facts are what is necessary. Right. No. 
I'm just trying to understand either that or something going on with you, Doc. Nothing going on. You all right? I'm all right. You got that look in his eye. You gonna pay this man? I got to go. <laughs> pay this man his money. Let him look at you like that. I done seen that look. I done seen that look he got in his eye. He ain't nothing to play with. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna grant you your three thousand dollars. Have a good day, Jasmine, for the plaintiff. All right. Continue success to you. I'm proud of your success, though. I'm having fun, but I'm proud of your success. You got me doing too much out here. I'm all in Chicago doing this. You could have paid me. I, you ain't giving enough time to pay, so. Then don't ask for money, then. <laughs>